Update. Hey everyone, hope you had a great weekend. We're gonna kick this week off with a tech tip on Google Docs. Now, uh, Google Docs comes included with a number of very nicely designed templates that you can use as a jumping off point for creating different kinds of documents. So let's take a look to see how that works. To access the templates in Google Docs, you can log into your Google Drive and then go up to the new button in the top left corner, just like you would use to create a new doc. Except instead of clicking on Google Docs, what you're going to do is click on this little triangle to the side and we get two options. Create a blank document or create a document from a template. So we're gonna select template and it's going to take us to the template gallery. Now, as we scroll through this, you'll see there are a number of different kinds of templates. There are a number of work-related templates, things like meeting notes, uh, brochure templates, newsletter templates. As we scroll down, you can see we have a couple of other kinds of business-related templates like um, process manuals, NDAs, RFPs, and these have a little blue box underneath them that say add-ons. That means that these templates include some add-ons. We'll take a look at what that means in a few minutes. As we continue down, you can see we have um, some resume uh, templates, we've got letter templates, and there are a variety of different designs. And there are also some education related templates, including report templates and lesson plan and class notes templates. So let's start off by going up to the top and taking a look at one of these newsletter templates. So when I click on this, uh, it takes a second to load and it will open up this template in Google Docs. I can go ahead and rename it as I would normally by clicking the name on the top left corner. And then I can go in and start to edit this information. And you can see that most of the text in this template is just randomly generated lorem ipsum. So you can go in there and just basically retype over it and it will maintain all of the same formatting. In terms of the images, all you would need to do is select the placeholder image and go to the insert menu at the top of the screen and you'd be able to insert an image in a number of different ways. You can upload it from your computer, you can search the web, whatever else you'd like to do. Keep in mind, um, as I mentioned in a previous tech tip, we can also use the explore tab to look up um, uh, an image and then drag it into this placeholder and it will be replaced. As we scroll down, you'll see there's some other images placed here. This is a cropped placeholder image of a phone. Again, we, sh we can resize this. We can replace this with another image from the web. Whatever you'd like to do, you can then change and utilize this template. Now, let's take a look at another template. Now, if we select one of these templates that indicates the that it requires an add-on, what you'll see is... Um, it, uh, it actually states which, uh, which add-on you need in this little sidebar. Now this is an RFP um, template, which will require a signature. And the add-on that is available for this is PandaDoc, which is a way of electronically signing a document. So you could use this document to allow whoever on the receiving end of this document to sign it electronically, or you can not use this and just do it the old fashioned way and print and sign it and et cetera. But as you can see, just like with the other template, um, we have some design elements like these little horizontal lines. We've got some placeholders for texts. So you can see it's in caps and in the square, um, the square brackets um, that obviously can all be replaced. And you can go through and um, you know brand this with your own company's logo or colors or anything of that sort. But it gives you a good jumping off point for a document like this. The same thing goes for um, the NDA or any of those other contract templates that are in there. Also, one other thing I'll quickly point out, if we go back to the template selector, um, where it says add-on, it actually mentions what add-on is included in this. So for example, uh, this one has a legal zoom and DocuSign add-on. This has a Lucid chart add-on for some kind of chart, um, so on and so forth. So a number of other uh, up counsel, a number of other add-ons are available um, depending on what the template requires. So as you can see, these templates are a great jumping off point for creating a document um, whether that's a resume or a newsletter or some kind of contract. Uh, now, of course, there aren't a huge number of templates on here. They're just a select few, but they're all very decent, um, very easy to use, and you can add all of your own elements to them to make them your own. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream projects every weekday at 10 and 2. And check out the DAE.com for our list of online classes, workshops, and private lessons. And and if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.